My name's Jenny and I live in Orpington in Kent. I'm a member of Croydon U3A and I love making cakes and decorating them. Today I'll be showing you and demonstrating some different ways to make beautiful cakes working with buttercream, working with royal icing, working with fresh fruit, artificial flowers to make some bespoke cakes that are really special. To start off with decorating a cake we need buttercream and it's very simple to make. You need icing sugar, some butter and vanilla. Just mix, get the quantities, mix these three together and you've got your buttercream like this. Put in your buttercream on the top and make sure that you use a flat knife. So you can see now I've just about covered the cake and it it doesn't look great at the moment, but this is the undercoat. You know, if you were decorating, you'd call this the undercoat, and so it's no worry. Now, this is going in the fridge for about 30 minutes. This has actually had two layers of buttercream on it. This is not a cup of tea, by the way. It's a mug of hot water because we use a hot knife. When I first started doing this, I just had one knife and I kept having to put it back in and wait. And I think, why don't I have two knives? And I can just swap them over. So you get your hot knife, not dripping, and you just bring it around the edge and smooth it. So there's a wrinkle here and I don't want that. So I'm just using the hot knife here. Not too much pressure, just a little bit of gentle easing. Swap the knife over get the excess water off it, smooth it round. I say it doesn't have to be perfect. We do want it to look good, we've got standards. That's now going to go into the fridge, so it will just set, for want of a better word, for at least half an hour, an hour's better, and then we can start doing some work on it. Start small and work up baby steps. You can get um, these, all these lovely little individual cupcakes that are very easy to completely change. Pop your nozzle in just to estimate how much you're going to need to cut off. Push your nozzle back a little bit, chop the end off with your scissors and underestimate because it's better to have to chop a little bit more off rather than too much. If you have too much chopped off, your buttercream is going to come shooting out of the sides. So that's fairly firm there. Pop it in your pint pot, tuck the sides down, just make a space there. And this makes loading your bag so much easier. So have it, have it sort of, you know, soft. Load up your bag with a few spoonfuls. I'm going to put three in. Carefully pull it out of the pipe pot, hold the top and give it a shake. Push the buttercream down to the bottom. I recommend twisting the top round and you can choose, you can start in the middle and swirl out or you can start at the edge and swirl in. I prefer to start in the middle. So we're going round here and it's just giving a gentle little squeeze all the way round and just tidy the end up. Now variety is the spice of life, we can't do them all chocolate, we've got to have some that are pink and this buttercream is raspberry flavoured.
So here we've got, I've got a packet of fondant that I bought. So I'm just massaging it a bit just to soften it up because uh, it makes it much easier to work with. Next you have to measure your cake. Find out how deep the side is along the top and down the other side and that's the diameter of the circle that you're going to roll out. Now before we start corn flour and I didn't know this until about 10 years ago I was using icing sugar underneath but icing sugar goes sticky and a little bit of corn flour just works so much better. Lift it over carefully, just give it a gentle little dust and then I'm going to put it on so that that bottom comes over the top and down the sides. Sort of push the sides together. Smooth it down with the flat of your hands. Now this next bit is cutting off this excess and you can either just use an ordinary knife like so but I actually prefer a pair of scissors and I just go round the bottom of the cake like so put the cake down and I'm just going to take my hands round and tuck that underneath so it looks neat smooth it So we've got the fruit here, it can be any fruit that's not going to be uh, runny um, and you wash, wash your fruit obviously but make sure it's dry because you don't want damp fruit dripping on here because it'll completely ruin your cake. Practically everybody I know loves chocolate, so I'm going to do a, a piping layer round, whoops, did you hear that air bubble there? Using, using some artificial flowers is sometimes quite nice, and these you can, say, break them up. They're not going to be any sort of health hazard and I would just stick them into the buttercream at the bottom because that's not part of the cake. And it goes with, sort of like goes with the theme of uh, fruit and flowers. So <clears throat> the possibilities are endless. All you need is a bit of imagination. The fruit and the cake and everything are, are easily available and the bits and bobs just what you, what you have around your house in your cupboard, um, you know, just depending on who you're making the cake for. And as I say, this would then go in the fridge and then at, at the right time, during your party, you'll say, anybody want some cake? And you bring it out and they'll say, wow, did you make that?